What a great day for a card. Hi everyone, Allison here for Black Hat Scraps. Wanted to say hi to everyone and thank you, which is what our next card is about. Alright, so I'm inking this stamp up with Versamark ink and this is uh, from Hero Arts and this vellum is three and one quarter by five and I'm using this scratch piece of paper so I can make sure the image impressed completely. And then I'm going to use clear embossing powder with glitter. And I'm going to heat set it. My heat tool. And I'm going to start with the quarters here. I've got my Martha Stewart's Puncher on the Page. This is the French Scrolls. And I'm also going to use the corner punch on the front of the cardstock. And you line up the folded edge onto that mark. I like to flip it over and make sure that is completely on there so that when I fold it, I don't have it's like right on the edge. And then I'm going to do this opposite corner here. Okay. And then I've got this sheet, and I'm going to as well do the corners. Just the opposite corners. Alright. Clean my desk off a little bit. Okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and stick this down onto my card front. Let me tape runner here. And this sheet is three and seven eighths by five and one eighths. And that's so that I have a little bit larger than an eighth inch border around. I like a like having them a little bit larger because I like how this beautiful blue cardstock color looks. I'm going to go ahead and stick this down too and I'm just going to pop one little click in the top two corners and I'm actually going to do all but this corner. The reason why I'm only doing those little corners there is normally when you have glue on vellum you will be able to see th it th through the vellum so you'll be able to see unwanted and it's kind of silly looking so um, I'm actually you know, I'm going to go ahead and do a little dot right there. It's actually not supposed to be curving up like that, so I'm going to take my Crumpa Dial by We Are Memory Keepers, and I'm going to use this small punch, and I'm going to punch these top two corners of the vellum. Okay, and I'm going to insert these mini eyelets from Making Memories. crunch them down. Check to make sure they worked out well. Okay. And set that aside. I have this cute little foam thingy that um, works great for me as a paper piercer. I'm only going to go through one layer. There we go. 
and I have this little yellow flower brad that I am using um, to hold down one of the other corners. Now the the tape runner on these corners was just temporary. I have this metal thank you embellishment that I want to incorporate into my card and I want to jazz it up so I'm going to take this blue ink and I'm going to run it along the edges of the embellishment and while the ink is still wet I'm going to dip it in embossing powder the same powder that I used for the beginning of the card okay and then I'm going to use my needle tool to hold the embellishment so I don't have to touch it while it heats up these stickers are from Jolie's Bouquet I'm not sure if they're still around but they're like vellum butterflies and I'm going to choose colors of the butterflies that are not on the card so I can have them pop off the page. I'm also going to choose some of the flowers here. Right, and I'm going to stick my token down with a large glue dot and I'm just going to stick it in the center towards the top. And I've got this butterfly stamp from Inka Dinka Doo's Flourishes, and I'm just going to stamp it in blue. I'm going to stamp four of them about the page, and then I'm going to emphasize their color with a metallic gel pen, as well as add some faux stitching um, trails around behind the butterflies, as well as I'm going to do a border around the page of the card. Remember, a great way to make your envelope match your card is to take some of the techniques you used in with your card and incorporate it in with your envelope. So here I took my um, Martha Stewart's punches and I punched in here and add some quirk. Please leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe, right? And also be sure to check out my blog if you're interested for about any of the dimensions or the supplies used. All the information will be posted there. Just wanted to show you my eyeball because it's fascinating. Do you like that?